see him ten. I apologize beforehand if I seem a little nervous up here. I've been shy ever since I was a child. I was born July 22, 1948 in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I spent most of my life in Tulsa. I grew up with my parents there. Um, it was a very good childhood, to say the least. My mother would abuse me, both physically and emotionally. She always said I would never amount to anything. And she would drag me by my hair and throw my writing manuscripts in the trash burner. I always managed to get them out, though. I actually prefer not to talk about it. Um, I usually went to my grandmother's, and my, my aunt had a horse there. I really loved horses, and I wanted to be a cow rancher when I grew up, but I didn't become a cow rancher. I became an author. I started reading and writing at a fairly young age. I really liked reading and writing. What really kicked off my, my career as an author was when my father was diagnosed with a cancerous brain tumor. I threw myself into my writing. I finished my draft, my first draft of The Outsiders, around the same time that he died when I was 17. I then went on to go to the University of Tulsa, where I met my advisor. He helped me publish The Outsiders under an androgynous pen name to avoid scrutiny. My real name is Susan Eloise Hinton, but I'm more well-known as Essie Hinton, because that's what I publish my works under. My works include The Outsiders, Tex, Rumblefish, That Was Then, This Is Now, Taming the Star Runner, The Puppy Sister, Some of Tim's Stories, Big David, Little David, Hope, and Hope's Harbor. Many of these books were made into motion pictures, such as The Outsiders, which I was actually featured in as a nurse at the hospital. My novels were different from other young adult novels. Um, usually they were a girl meets a boy and they fall in love. I'm a tomboy. That idea was disgusting to me. <laughs> I hated it. Um, I wanted a book that portrayed what life was actually like for a teenager. So The Outsiders was, I was expressing conflict between social classes that I grew up with. There are many problems in my books that I actually faced, except I never killed anyone. I promise. <laughs> I basically lived the life of a greaser. So began my new style of young adult novels. Um, critics and teachers have said that I would play a key role in the development of adult novels. So thank you so much for having me here, and it is my pleasure to introduce the lovely Miss Helen Keller.